supporters of Versailles, the Coalition for Clean and Fair Elections, were to have gathered here in the thousands, all wearing yellow. They would then march in a yellow way to the Stana Negara, where they would hand over a petition to the king calling for free and fair elections. A free and fair election is the fundamental basis for a democracy. If you don't have a free and fair election, that is no longer a real democracy. It is what you call a sham democracy. Now, I am saying that is what you have in Malaysia, a sham democracy. Because in this country, there are major problems with the process of the election. We say it's an unfair election. The most obvious aspect is media control. A totally controlled TV, television, radio and mainstream press, where the opposition have no chance to speak. We also have major problems in this country about fraud in the electoral roll. The, the, I'll give you an example. In Ijok recently, in the, in the area called Jaya Satya, 12 persons we have identified as dead persons, names are still on the roll, came out of the grave and voted on polling day. Uh, how? The significance is that on the 30th of August 1957, the Union Jack was lowered and the Malayan flag was raised, marking the independence of Malaya from the United Kingdom. Unfortunately, the police who did not approve of the permit for the gathering blockaded this entire area and nobody could get in. So the supporters gathered in four or five locations. But in some areas, like Masjid Jami, the police attacked the protesters uh, with tear gas and water cannons. And they then had a little running battle uh, with the police and the FRU from Masjid Jami, Jan uh, Raja Laut, back to Jan Tongkut Raman. But other protesters were able to gather and reach the Istana, and where they waited for their leaders to hand over the memorandum to the king. where a running battle with Versailles supporters ensued. The police fired water cannons and tear gas at Versailles supporters who were gathered here on November 10th morning to disperse them. Uh, when the water cannons and tear gas started firing, they ran helter skelter, some into Masjid Jami, others into the, the lanes that surround this area, like Jalan Malakil, for instance, in Masjid India. While others ran towards Jalan Raja Laut and they played a cat and mouse game with the police. Over here in this jungle are British supporters being surrounded by FRU and a few of them were hit by FRU shields. Some were arrested along this particular road. Behind me is where a sea of yellow were gathered on the 10th of November waiting for their leaders to arrive to hand over a petition pushing for a free, clean and fair elections to be handed over to the king here at Istana Negara. I think it's more symbolic than anything else because no matter what powers that the king has or does not have he is still officially the head of state and uh, I think in a way it, it's a sign um, that people have nowhere else to turn to you know and um, it's quite ironic and s that in this day and age 
We are going back to our feudal roots in an attempt to find some sort of relief. So it's as if we haven't moved forward <laughs> since the Malacca Sultanate. You know, but having said that, I mean, it's symbolic. It's very symbolic. And we must always remember that to large segments of the society, the monarchy is a very important institution. You know, um, at the end of the day, it's we're going to hand this to someone. Who are we going to hand it to? Who better than the person who is supposed to be our head of state? I think that's what it is. I, nobody realistically believes that the uh, Agong is going to go marching to Putrajaya and say, "Look, let's have clean and fair elections." I don't think that's. The, I don't think anybody has that vision in their head. But it's it's a, it's it's a symbol. It's a symbolic act. And there's value in that.